Rig move implies moving a jackup from one location to another. Process could be broken down for better understanding. Jacking down when the barge is lowering from elevated to floating condition. A float when barge moves on its own propulsion to another location and jacking up when barge elevates itself again to desired height above sea level. Let's go over that again. First part is jacking down. As you can see here hull is submerged, legs raise up from the seabed and barge is afloat. Being afloat means we are already on a second part of our rig move. On the next location barge is approaching the platform, legs are lowered down and hull is elevated out of the water. Hull goes up to desired level and we are elevated. Those were the basics which we had to explain in order to go further into details. The next obvious question are the legs. It's important to understand how they move. You'll notice some strange motor looking things sticking out of the legs. Let's not go into details and simply call them gearboxes. When our stone cold chief engineer moves his little stick power is sent through hydraulic system to gearboxes which are turning the pinions and thus moving the legs. We call it rack and pinion system. This leg which you see on the right side of the screen is moved by 17 of those pinions. We usually get notice about rig move one day in advance, so we have time to prepare. First, make sure all heavy machinery is secured, especially this large project equipment. Use the chains, belts and ropes to prevent movement in any direction. Every item on deck must be secured. Drums, garbage bins, tools, loose lifting gear, etc. All this is usually done a day before rig move. Close all escape hatches and openings. Although they appear to be closed already, do ensure they actually are. Check all tank sounding plugs on all tank and void spaces. Tank covers also, especially if it has been opened. Emergency generator flaps, but only with permission of engineers. Check for fishing gear or any ropes that might be hanging off the railing. And the most important, all the doors on main deck. This door must not be opened during the whole rig move. There's always a guy who will not understand why is it important to close the door. Here's why it's important to close the door and keep it closed. Let's say barge is arriving to location and jacking up. Barge is out of the water and preload is in progress, but leg punches through the seabed. As you can see, the doors are below sea level now. If they were open, water would flood the engine room and main deck level. Engineers would probably drown, power lost, vessel damaged beyond repair. Additional weight would push us down even further, extending this door disaster. But since doors were closed, none of this could happen. Buoyancy would keep the vessel afloat regardless of penetration. Engines would keep running so power would be available, which means we could level the hull and get it out of the water. And we would all be alive, even engineers. We would finally level the vessel and get her out of the water. And that is why closing the door is more important than you or any excuse that you might have for opening the door.